today we shall be looking at erythrocyte sedimentation rate or an ESR. Erythrocyte refers to red blood cells and sedimentation is the settling down. So we shall look at the rate at which the red blood cells settle down and its significance. An ESR is a non-specific test of inflammation besides C-reactive protein. This erythrocyte sedimentation rate is used as a monitoring tool for the response of treatment in conditions whereby it is raised such as tuberculosis and autoimmune disorders among other diseases. We have two methods of measuring the erythrocyte sedimentation rate and those are the Westergren method and the Wintrow method. In the Wintrow method you require a Wintrow pipette, an EDTA anticoagulant and a Winthrop stand. The length of Winthrop tube is 100 mm and the diameter is 2.5 mm. The marking is 0 at the top and 100 at the bottom. The amount of EDT anticoagulant required in this test is 0.4 ml in 2 ml of blood. With the help of a long naked pasture pipette, you fill the Winthrop tube up to the 0 mark. Then, place the tube in an exact vertical position in a Winthrop stand. At the end of an hour, read the upper level of the red blood cell column value. In Westergren method, you require to collect 2 ml of venous blood into a tube containing 0.5 ml of 3.8% sodium citrate anticoagulant. The specimen here should be stored no longer than 2 hours at a room temperature or not longer than 6 hours at 4 degrees Celsius. The blood is drawn into a Westergren cast tube to the level of the 200 mm mark. This Westergren tube is placed in a rack in a restrictive vertical position for an hour at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius or at room temperature. Then at the distance from the lower limit of the red cell segment is measured. What is the principle behind the ESR? Erythrocyte sedimentation rate is determined by the interaction between factors which promote sedimentation and the factors which resist sedimentation. An example of the factor which promotes sedimentation is fibrinogen and the ones which resist sedimentation is the negative charge which surrounds the red blood cells making them to repel each other. When an inflammatory process is present, the high proportion of fibrinogen in blood causes the red blood cells to stick to each other. These red blood cells form stacks known as prologues, which then settle faster. Prologue formation can also occur in association with some lymphoproliferative disorders in which one or more immunoglobulins are secreted in high amounts into blood. Normally, the red blood cells settle slowly because they do not form a relux or do not aggregate together. In plasma proteins, especially fibrinogen, when it adheres to the red cell membranes, it neutralizes the surface negative charges. And this neutralization promotes cell adherence and relux formation. We have some various factors which affect the rate of erythrocyte sedimentation. For example, the plasma proteins, an increase in the concentration of fibrinogen and immunoglobulins because of either tissue injury will increase relox formation, therefore the rate of sedimentation will be increased. Plasma albumin, on the other hand, retards sedimentation of the red blood cells. The red blood cell size is another factor which affects the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Alteration in thereby concavity, for example in spherocytes and sickle cells, usually does not exhibit an increased rate unless there is a severe anemia. And an increase in the red cell mass will retard the sedimentation rate, for example in polycythemia. When carrying out the process of ESR, there are some phases whereby this blood sample will go, for example, the first 10 minutes it will be known as the initial lag phase. And the phase of rapid red blood cell falling occurs within the next 40 minutes and the packing phase in the last 10 minutes. All this accounts for the one hour of conducting the test. 
and ESR values tend to rise with age and are generally high in women as compared to men. ESR also value is elevated in anemia. In an adult female, the normal ranges from 0 to 20 mm per hour and in adult males you get from 0 to 15 mm per hour. But in children is a bit lower whereby the normal values range from 0 to 10 mm per hour. So anything above 30 mm per hour is abnormal. Some drugs such as dextran, methyl doba, oral contraceptives, penicillamine, procainamide and theophylline together with vitamin A can increase the rate of erythrocyte sedimentation rate, while others, for example aspirin, cortisone and quinine, decrease the ESR. In sickle cell anemias and spherocytosis, we have a very low ESR unlike other anemias. This is simply because of the reduced relax formation owing to the abnormally shaped red blood cells in these conditions. Retrocyte sedimentation rate has a high sensitivity but with a low specificity. Another marker of inflammation we have is known as the celiac protein and generally the erythrocyte sedimentation rate does not change rapidly as the C-reactive protein, either at the start of inflammation or as it goes away. The C-reactive protein is not affected by as many factors as is ESR and this makes C-reactive protein a better mark of inflammation as compared to ESR. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share out our videos and click on the bell button to be notified whenever we upload a video. Goodbye.